Hi guys, this is Southwestern Airsoft again. Here's a review of the M16 um, by SRC. And we have a 330 gram mag on this, metal. And uh, just to go through what's on uh, this gun. You've got the battery in the stock. And then you've got a fake blowback which reveals the dust cover. Um, this would be used for releasing the gas on a gas blowback gun. So it doesn't work on this. Uh, you can see that it's not ambidextrous because it hasn't got the sliding switch here. It's got it on this side. And then you've got the mag release. 330 round mag as I said. Um, but you can get a 450 mag for it. Um, it has no rails on it except for the main optics rail here which we have a red dot sight on it. Um, it's pretty long, so it's going to be used for field, not CQB. Though this did feature in the Squadzilla vs. Squad, uh, Southwestern Airsoft match the other week, and um, we did use it in CQB, so it is possible. So, but I wouldn't recommend it to be honest. Now we're going to try and load the magazine. So you can see that we have a bit of a flip bit here. It opens up the well. Now this is a high cap, so you've got the winder on the bottom. So just keep reminding it. You see BBs at the top. Now they're at the top, just give it a couple more of the winds. Let's put it back on the gun now. Now we're going to go for a test fire now. So I'm going to come back to you in a second, and we're going to fire semi, then full auto. I'm going to find something interesting to shoot at, so see you then. I have the firing test of the SRC M16 right now. I'm going to start on semi-automatic and we have the water balloons over there, which I'm going to take a couple of shots at. There we go. Straight off. You can see how powerful this gun is seeing as it's penetrated a small ball of water. Now, can it handle the dummy? The full auto test. We have our green dummy over there, which you may recognize. And we're gonna fire a load of rounds into his face. You're ready to be amazed.